Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And this is going to be a little two part. This is part two of this. Somebody left me a message on one of my videos, and I made a mistake and I tried to rotate this six. I was originally planning on doing a five sided polygon, but I messed up and made a six sided. And somebody said that looks pretty cool if I would have just kept rotating it around. So we're going to. We're going to do that. So instead of rotating this 60 degrees, we're going to control D and make a duplicate, double click on a rotation to put our center in the center, and then rotate it 72 degrees, and then control D, control D, control D. I never would have thought, you know, I guess it would have fit, but that gives you a pretty cool design. And then if you wanted to fill that in, you could take that over and take the smart fill tool and set on something else. Well, got a little leak there. Uh, probably need to bring in this line just a hair. Um, let's make it 11.22. See if that doesn't stop. Well, you know what? It, yeah, that should stop the leak. So that's pretty cool. But the reason I decided to make the video wasn't for that, but even though that is cool, uh, I'm not going to go through all the steps because you'll watch part one. But the reason I was going to do a five-sided, but I started with a six, is because this right here uh, is so important to be able to have the center of the page. So we'll go ahead and contour this guy. Well, no, we're not. We're going to take this, and if you look, it's this is in the center because it's got six sides. If you turn it to five, Corel's telling you the center's right there. Well, it's not, it's right there. So now let's go contour this thing to the inside. And, oh, that's too big. Let's make it like one inch contour. So there's where I should have gone with it because we still need the center. And, well, we'll just continue on a little bit. Take the parallel to the pinch tool. This is all in part one. We got 3.64. So if we take an ellipse that hold down the control button and make it 3.64, I unlock my ratio somehow. A lot of times when you do that, just start over. Lock your ratio 3.64. Then these should fit on all the corners. Control D and make a duplicate and see how they match up right there. Control D and make a duplicate. Now this is why I didn't use, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm hitting the plus key. Because if you use control D in this, it's gonna put it uh, in sporadically. Now, just like in the first of the video of the other one, I don't, now that I think about it, I don't even know why you need the outer, uh, outer polygon. But if we'll take our parallel dimension tool, it, it is gonna, on a five side, it's gonna be a little hard to figure out, you know, what the size of the circle is. We can't really measure it. So we're just gonna to have to take a circle and hit P, put it in the center of the page, and you can see that's off. But if you kind of zoom in and hold down the shift button so it'll grow from the center and just kind of match that line, you'll you'll know pretty soon if anything leaks and it doesn't leak, so it's working. And then that's how I made that shape. I just wonder now if we if we take that away and we'll just try another little experiment. Control D and rotate it. I wonder if we rotate it. Well, we can't go 45 degrees because that won't be enough. Um, 72. Isn't going to be enough. So it only works on that. Well, same thing. Really, 72 is what we needed. Um, we can't go less than that. Let's try uh, just playing around here. Let's try 90. There we go. You get a totally different look. But it still works. So you get a different pattern. It's not as cool as this one are really not as cool as any of them, uh, you know, now, but if you change the colors, you know, it'll look a little bit different. And of course you would want to maybe pick, well, I'm going to leave that one blue. But anyway, so I think that viewer subscriber for 
kind of tweaking that and making making me think about that. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.